we are going to see parts of speech. Now, let's see the definition of parts of speech. Words are divided into different kinds or classes called parts of speech according to their use that is according to the work they do in a sentence. These are known as a parts of speech. Now it's quite difficult to understand this definition directly. Now, first of all, let's see there are few types of parts of speech. There are eight types of parts of speech. First, a noun, then an adjective, a pronoun, a verb, an adverb, a preposition, a conjunction, and an interjection. Now let me tell you first of all, friends, in this video I am going to tell you a short description about each of these part of speech. If you want to go through its detailed description, you need to see its detailed videos. Okay? Now, let's see the first part of speech. Let's see a noun. Now, let's see the definition of noun. A noun is a word used as the name of person, place or thing. Anything around us which has its a particular name, proper name, any name which is known as a noun. Uh, you may say that feelings, ideas. Okay. Now let's see some example for this. For example, Seema, cat, India, ball, girl, boy, country, happy. These are all names, places, things, and your feelings. These are generally expressed in the form of noun. Understood? Let's see an adjective. Now what is exactly an adjective is? Let's see its definition first. An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of noun. Now, uh, in very simple language you can say that adjectives gives more information about noun is known an adjective. See some example for this. For example, tall boy now in this sentence this tall word is adjective and this boy is a name of the word means it is a noun now in this sentence the word which is in yellow color is adjective and the word which is in white color is a noun so we are getting more information about boy so boy is a noun and this word this boy word we are getting more information about this noun by the word this tall so tall is an adjective understood let's see another example for this handsome man in this sentence handsome is an adjective and man is a noun so we are getting more information about man by this word handsome how's the man handsome man so handsome is an adjective and man is an noun so we are getting more information about noun so it is an adjective you just need to keep this in mind anything in a sentence which gives more information about noun that is an adjective you should keep that in mind see some another example black cat fearful dog Slim girl, yellow shirt. I hope you understood what exactly adjective is. Let's see. A pronoun. Now let's see the definition of pronoun. A pronoun is a word used instead of noun. In any sentence, when we need to use it repeatedly, at that time, instead of that particular noun we use its pronoun let me give you some example for this so you would understand it much better for example Seema is absent because she is ill now take a look at this sentence in this sentence there are two sentences Seema is absent in this first sentence Seema is a noun okay in second sentence because she is ill in this sentence she is noun but this she word this word is used instead of this word Seema 
it would be sound like this if we wouldn't use this word she. Sima is absent because Sima is ill. It sounds bit weird. It was it isn't wrong, but it sounds bit weird. So instead of Sima in the second sentence, I use she. So she represents Sima. So she is an is a sorry she is a pronoun. See some, another example. Sam is very clever. He stood first in his class. Now here are two sentences. Sam is very clever. In this sentence, Sam is a noun. In second sentence, he stood first in the class. He is noun. But when we read these two sentences, we immediately realize that this he is used instead of this Sam. So he is a pronoun. Okay, instead of Sam, I use he. So he represents or else he shows this Sam. Understood? See some another example for this. This is the scene that I like most. Now in this sentence, the scene is a noun. Instead of this noun, I use that. This that word represent the sin. See another example. England is the country which is big. John is the person who runs fast. Okay. I hope you might have understood this. Now, let's see a verb. This is very simple part. Verb to identify. Let's see its definition. A verb is a word used to express an action or state. Any action word is known as verb. Any action which is going around us is known as verb. In a, in a simple manner, I am talking to you. Action. So, talking is a sort of action. So, it's a verb. You are listening to me. It's an action. So, listening is an action. It's a verb. Understood? See some example for this. For example, Sima goes to market. Now, this yellow word, this yellow underlined word is a verb. So, this go shows an action of going. So, it's a verb. See another example for this. They watch TV. In this sentence, watch shows an action of watching. So, it's an action word. We sing song. We sing song. They sing. It's a sort of action. I will go to Japan. It's an action. John runs fast. It's an action. It's an action of running, action of going, action of singing, action of watching, action of going. Let's see an adverb. The way we learn an adjective. Similarly, we are going to see an adverb. Now let's see the definition of adverb. an adverb. An adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of verb, an adjective or another adverb. Okay, you may say that it's not a definite de uh, definition, but it gives closer to that. An adverb which gives more information or which shows, uh, which relate with verb is an adverb. See some example for this. Sima walks slowly. How Sima walks slowly? Now in this sentence, walk is an verb is a verb and slowly gives more information about walk. So slowly becomes an adverb. Similarly, let's see another example. She reads carefully. In this sentence, read reads is a adverb. And carefully gives more information about read. So carefully is an adverb. See another example for this. She sings sweetly. Soldiers fought bravely. John injured badly. Now all these words, yellow words, gives us more information about all these verbs. These verbs is known as adverb. Okay, generally, it's not um, if you don't understand exactly what adverb is, 
so you can follow this step it's a it's a sort of a trick generally the word which contains ly at its end is generally an adverb see this example slowly carefully sweetly bravely badly when the word has ly at its ends that time it is an adverb not all the time but sometime okay if you don't understand what exactly adverb is at that time you can use this trick but not all the time it will not going to work all the time because there are some other words which is which has ly at its ends but they are not adverbs see uh, as in family okay see let's see a preposition now let's see the definition of preposition a preposition is a word used with a noun or pronoun to show how the person or thing denoted by the noun or pronoun stands in relation to something else it's quite difficult to understand let's see some example for this there is a fish in the water now in this part there is a fish a fish is a noun we are getting where exactly the fish is in the water so in shows the position of the noun where exactly it is so in shows the position of the fish so it is the preposition hmm? it's a quite simple to understand there are many types of preposition we are going to see only few of them see another example the book is on the table the book is a noun we are getting its position where the book is on the table so on is a preposition okay see another example for this plane fly over the mountains he puts his hands into the pocket john hide under the table now here are some preposition i have given to you they are very simple to understand one thing you should keep in mind preposition shows us the position of the noun okay understood now let's see a conjunction let's see the definition of conjunction it's very simple part a conjunction is a word used to join words or sentences two words or two sentences these are known as conjunction generally two words when we combine them together it is known it, when we combine it uh, for com combination we use a particular word that particular word is a conjunction see some examples so you will understand it much better for example ram and sham are brothers now in this part i use and as a conjunction because ram sham are brothers if i speak it like this way ram sham are brothers say so it's it wouldn't sound nice so ram and sham are brothers here are two words two names i have joined them with the word and so they come together and that sentence become a one sentence see another example i ran fast but missed the train i ran fast i missed the train these are two sentences but by using these two sentence instead of i join that th those two sentences by using but i ran fast but missed the train so this sentence become one sentence see another example give me pen or pencil now here are two nouns here are two things i join them by or so give me pen or pencil whatever you have understood now let's see another example john was sleeping so i came home john was sleeping i came home these are two sentences but i join them together by using this word so so john was sleeping so i came home understood now let's see another example i like this candy because it tastes heavenly i like this candy it tastes heavenly 
so these are two sentences I join these two sentences by using this because word this conjunction and that sentence become a one sentence so these are the conjunction which performs an activity of joining two sentences two words okay now let's see an interjection let's see the definition of interjection an interjection is a word which express some sudden feelings okay we are watching a match and suddenly uh, someone hit the six and we overjoyed and the time we overjoyed uh, some expression comes through our stomach and we express it our happiness our sadness these are known as interjection let's see some example for this so you would understand it much better for example hurrah we won the match sudden expression we won the match we, are, we were expecting for this to be happen see another example for this alas he is dead you feel sorry for that you feel bad for it wow that's really great news you heard some news and you was uh, you supposed to expecting that news so you overjoyed wow that's really great news see another example for this hey stop messing with me if someone teasing you if someone troubling you at the time you can say that hey stop messing with me see another example for this yahoo i got my bonus you got your salary and again in on that addition you got your bonus so you enjoyed you you feel happy yahoo i got my bonus understood now these are known as inter interjections thanks for watching my video please subscribe and like the video thank you very much